Our Father, thank you that you have given us life, breath, and everything. Thank you that you have wonderfully displayed your likeness through Jordan and Iris. We praise you, gracious God, that you have brought these two together. We thank you that your love for them will now be understood in new ways, that your redemption will meet them every day as they seek to sacrifice and forgive one another. May we be present at this moment. May we be present to your spirit. May we have eyes to see the magnificence of what you're doing in Iris and Jordan today. In Jesus' name, amen. Jordan had gotten my number like two months prior to our first date and never texted me. He just like held on I to my to, number. I texted you the podcast episode that I said I was going to send you. Oh, that's but then, true. But then I kind of like left it at that. Yeah. You were doing like a TikTok dance with the kids and I was like, oh, she's cool. Yeah. And she's really pretty. And I can't dance, but <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I hope she doesn't ask me to like do the stand for the. <laughs> I had kind of made the decision like, okay, I need to ask her out. So I'd made that decision, but wasn't sure how I was gonna ask. We're doing a cookout with our church group and we hadn't had any text conversations other than the one podcast episode I sent her. All of a sudden I get a call from her. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And she's like, hey, I'm like up near where you live and I'm going to the grocery store to get stuff for the cookout tonight. Just wasn't sure if you wanted anything. In my mind, I'm like, it's very obvious why you're calling me. Like, you're not asking about the groceries. And in my mind, I was calling about the groceries. Take it Um, you've probably recognized Jordan can get obsessive about different hobbies. So you might need to prepare some space in your house just in case he gets re-interested in kayaks or camping or woodworking or making coffee or roasting coffee or distilling water for the coffee. creative and intentional and like thoughtful. She's much more of the like dreamer. If I was to put an image to it, I'd say he's kind of like a rock. If Jordan is a rock, I, I see Iris as like a rainbow. She's kind of like colorful and beautiful, appreciative of things that are unique and different. When your maps have all been burned. She's a calm voice of wisdom and careful thought, uh, and always an encouragement, and listens to the Lord, I feel like, in a way that not many people do. She just very intentionally hears from him and allows space to um, just Keep allow him to guide her life on a daily basis. I want to be your shelter, I want to be your place, I want to be your refuge whenever you're afraid, whenever you're in trouble, whenever your heart breaks, I'll dig with you through the rubble. I'll help you find your way I want to be your shelter so
I, Jordan Chase, take you, Iris Elise, to be my wife. I, Iris Elise, take you, Jordan Chase, to be my husband. Committing myself to you from this day until my last. Today, I forsake all others, and I accept both the responsibility and the honor of being your partner for life. I will seek God first, asking Him to direct our every step. I will seek God's heart first in all that we do, learning to love more like Him each and every day. I will serve you, continuing to fall in love with you again and again in different seasons of life as we grow into who God intended for us to become. From this day forward, I commit to walk with you wherever he will lead us. As Christ loved the church, so I will love you. Till kingdom come. And do all these things today, till kingdom come. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. I give you all my life. Give you all my love. We are now and forever. forever. One. It is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> it is now my honor to present to all of you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Iris. And in the very easily way of being cheesy, with Jordan as a rock and Iris as beautiful color, in the words of a modern philosopher, Rihanna, would we all raise our glasses to a marriage that shines bright like a diamond. <laughs>